professionally done. Like, comment, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Today, we are in Nashville, Tennessee, and if you're following along, it's because I was on a rescue mission to bring Jacob his medication. He started his Choose My Adventure road trip. Um, he went to Louisville, he went to Nashville, and then realized he forgot his medication, I guess in Louisville. I was gonna meet him there eventually, or um, originally, but then, Nashville was closer than Louisville. Louisville was like five hours. Nashville was four plus. Plus there's places I've wanted to visit in Nashville. And so the day that I left to bring Jacob his medication, I wasn't feeling well. I got knee injections that day. So I stayed an extra day and then I decided to wander about and that's today. So we are in front of Jack White's record shop, Third Man Records, a place I've always wanted to go. Um, there's all kinds of fun stuff inside. I've been a fan of the White Stripes and Jack White for quite some time, so I'm excited to check this out, and I hope you're excited as well. So let's go see. Walking up, you can see some of downtown. There's all these fun stickers around. You can see the building itself and this fun little guy over here. So let's do this. Let's head inside. I'm excited. Hello. As you walk in, there's all kinds of fun stuff. Look, here's the little guy from outside. Maybe I can wind him up quick and he can do a little dance. I'm thinking he's going to have to come home with me. A little buddy here. I wonder if he has a name. I'm not sure. We'll just call him the Third Man Records guy for now. But um, there's some shirts with him on there. There's the building. And there's even a coloring book up here. There's also some White Stripes merch, of course. Here's a hoodie. And look, there's a monkey band. What? I'm going to have to get some quarters for the monkey band. But meanwhile... Yeah, there's all the Third Man Records merch. There's some little cards. Oh, here we have um, Meg and Jack from the White Stripes. Some busts. There's some pines. Ooh, if I wore hats, I would definitely want one of these. Oh, and look, more shirts. All the shirts. Oh, here's the pressing process. I do collect vinyls. I have a very small supply. It started with my um, mom's collection from back in the day, like her Beatles records and stuff. Oh, look at the pins. Look at the pins. There's a third man records pin here. Is it a magnet? Oh, it's a magnet. That may be even better. I was going to say, I don't know what I would do with a pin, but a magnet. I know what I would do with that. I'm a big fan of this shirt as well. I'm going to end up leaving with too much. <laughs> it just keeps getting cooler. Look back here. It says Third Man Hardware. Here's the big logo that you can see outside. Oh, and look at this guy back here and this cool TV. It is so fun in here. There's also a whole setup here with all these pedals. I, I don't know, actually know how to play any instrument, so this is lost on me. But if you did know how to play, <laughs> you'd have quite a great time here. I'm just going to look around meanwhile because, yeah, it's... There's a lot here, there's a lot to take in. I mean, like, look at the wallpaper alone. And look at this little guy. So Third Man Records isn't just the White Stripes and Jack White. They also um, print different artists. So here is Sleep. There's some merchandise here. 
And then, of course, more Third Man Records merch itself. Oh, and this is all on sale. Oh, you can see up here some more actual White Stripes merch. Um, Jacob got those Funko Pops for us once upon a time. What else do we have up here? All kinds of pictures and vinyls and frames and wonder. Oh, and if you look here, you can see it's Jack White's Platinum Record. I actually don't own a White Stripes album on vinyl. I kind of try to get used vinyl rather than new, but newer albums like this, I mean, it's not a new album. When did um, Elephant come out? It's been quite a while, 2003. But um, I, I consider that newer, considering the ones that I get old are like Fleetwood Mac and that kind of stuff, so like 70s. So I think I could make an exception. And if I got a White Stripes album here, that would definitely be the place to do it. Here's a selection of LPs. It looks like these were all recorded live at Third Man Records. There's um, quite a few bands. I'm trying to see if there's um, anything that stands out that I may know, which <laughs> sadly I don't think I do. I'm um, kind of out of the loop when it comes to new music. I need to desperately get back into it. I kind of have fallen into the routine of just listening to the same artists and I need to break that. It never used to be like that. Here's some more LPs down here. And here we go. From Moldorama we have the wax o -matic. You can make your own red hot mold model of Jack White's 1964 Montgomery Ward airline guitar. And here we have the actual machine. It doesn't look like it's working right now, which makes me sad. Um, there's no place to insert the money that I can see. I'm going to make sure that this um, is not in operation because I definitely want to get a guitar if I can. So, so we'll see. All right. It's come to the watching portion of the video because I got some change. I got the waxomatic is working. I got some tokens. So I got a quarter for the monkey band. <gasps> look at him go. Oh my goodness, look at him. Look at the monkeys. They're so insanely cute. Okay, you, you can go to sleep now, little monkeys. Oh wait, uh, I'm gonna put another one. Wake up, little monkeys! This time you can go to sleep, little monkeys. Part two, the wax o -matic. So normally I see Jacob with his um, Moldoramas. This may be the first time I filmed one myself. So the tokens go in here. I got them up front. They uh, have little dollar signs on them. And, oh. Up. So here we go. Jacob used to tell me that he was able to tell if there was a Moldorama or Moldoramatic in a place just by the smell, and now I am able to recognize the smell myself. 
I had never even seen one of these until I started traveling with Jacob because they only have them in like Chicago and Florida from what I understand. And so growing up in Western New York, these weren't a thing. <gasps> Here it comes. And I know that it will be hot. door down and here we go look look how fun I have to turn it over to let the hotness out it's actually not as hot as some of the ones I've had <laughs> I've burnt my hand on some of them but look yay now one of the things I was looking forward to coming here was this booth it's from the 40s where you record your own voice and play it. Um, Weird Al was here and recorded one and it's really fun. You can find that on YouTube. But um, it's currently out of order. I was thinking maybe I could have made my theme song professionally done, but it looks like we're still going to have that lovely unprofessional one that you guys all love. Hey look! I found some 45s for artists that I actually do know. We have Roy Orbison, who of course I love. There's Elvis. Nick and the Jaguars. Here it's just labeled Nashville music. So you know, while you're in Nashville, you should listen to some Nashville music. I do like the design of this one a lot. Along with vinyl, there are also some books. We have the lyrics of the White Stripes. And I was looking down here, there's a kid's book that says, We're Going to Be Friends. It's called We're Going to Be Friends, written by Jack White, and it's pretty adorable. So we weren't able to record ourselves in the other booth, but there is a listening booth here. And I know that the people that were just in here were saying they were listening to The Little Mermaid, which I thought was pretty incredible. You can see the records spinning around here. Here is the Third Man Records logo on the record as well. You can see that spinning around. But, um... What should we listen to? It looks like in addition to the vinyl, they have playlists here. So you can listen to the digital streaming as well as the records here. And I think I'm gonna listen to the White Stripes, you know, since we're in here and they have it all laid out here. And I feel like if you're in Jack White's store, you should be listening to Jack White. So here we go. We have the white stripes on the turntable. It has the um, cover here. I have a killer's one at home, but it's the same padding that's on here. And so we can put our little white stripes record on and I'm going to listen to this. I'm sure that there will be um, some copyright infringements. So <laughs> I'm going to listen and I'll see you guys on the other side. So that was Third Man Records and it certainly didn't disappoint. I've been wanting to come here for quite a while. Um, I actually saw it for the first time in one of Jacob's videos when he was here and I was like the monkey band, the wax matic like it has everything. I've enjoyed the white stripes for a long time. I had to pick up Elephant while I was here since I do not have this on vinyl. It has one of my favorite songs which is Little Acorns. Be like a squirrel girl. Be like a squirrel. Be like a squirrel. So yeah, if you guys haven't heard of the light corns, you should definitely check it out. Um, I got another couple things here. It all came in this third man records bag. The sun's very strong right now. So I apologize if it's kind of hard to see, but I got my Waxmatic, my guitar here, which is glowing in the sun. I got a sticker somewhere. Um, here it is. Okay. Yay, sticker. It can go on either my laptop or 
luggage, the excess stickers I'm trying to um, merge into a pile so I can start putting them on my luggage. And then I got my little dancy guy and I've learned his name is Manny. It says Manny here on the back. So our little friend here for Third Man Records is named Manny. So yay! I got to meet Manny. I got my picture with him in there. I got my picture with the logo. All in all, an amazing time. I'm so happy that I was able to go. And there's some more places in Nashville that I want to check out today while I'm here. I figured the um, rescue mission should turn into a mini sightseeing <laughs> excursion. Um, Jacob has already headed west continuing his adventure but um my adventure is continuing here and I'm going to be heading home today after so I hope you join me on the journey there will be another stop so I hope you tune in for that and I guess that's it for now